fascination with the moon has been around since human beings looked up at the sky. Four decades ago, people visited the moon and brought back samples. Still, there were many more questions concerning the moon. One of those was, is there water on the moon? If human beings are ever to set up a base on the moon, water will be needed, not only for drinking and bathing, but for generating air and rocket fuel. In 2009, NASA set out to find the answer to this question. The $79 million moon mission, Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, or LCROSS, was sent off to find water. By crashing a spent rocket into the crater at the moon's southern pole, a trailing spacecraft was then able to measure and analyze the cloud of debris that was kicked up. L. Cross discovered that there was more water vapor than expected, 144 liters to be precise. This is enough to fill up a typical washing machine. This finding allowed scientists to estimate that there is enough water in the crater to fill up 1,500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Besides water, L. Cross also found traces of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, ammonia, sodium, mercury, and silver. L. Cross proved that the moon is not a dry and desolate world. Water exists in the craters on both poles of the moon. This water will be needed for future moon missions and bases. As we face a rising population on Earth, coupled with diminishing resources, it is imperative that we look beyond the Earth for the survival of the human race. L-Cross is another step in pursuing that goal.